What's up guys, welcome to Sockers Tech Spot. In this video I'm going to show you how to uninstall bloatware off of your phone. Uh, if you don't know what bloatware is, it's all the crappy apps that manufacturers load onto the phone before they sell it to you in hopes that you use it to either A, get money off of you for a monetization, or um, you get user data from you for using the app. Uh, they're not really built that well and most likely you're not even going to use the apps, so they're basically just taking up storage and potentially resources if they're running in the background. So what we want to do is we want to uninstall all the apps that we don't need. And to do that, you're going to need to be, one, rooted, and two, have an app called Titanium Backup. Now, rooted basically gives you uh, root permissions, which allow you to modify the file system a little more than you would if you didn't have these root, root, yeah, root privileges. So, what that means is uh, you have to f figure out how to root your phone. Not every phone could be rooted. Most can. Most likely you will be able to, but you have to Google it for a particular device. Uh, in my channel, I have uh, a couple of videos for Samsung and a couple of videos for Nexus devices. So if you have either of those, check out the videos in my channel. I'll put them in the description as well. And uh, otherwise, we're ready to go. So once you're rooted and you download Titanium Backup, well, I guess I can show you what Titanium Backup looks like in the App Store. So there it is, Titanium Backup. This is the app that we're going to use to uninstall the bloatware. So once you have it, go ahead and open it. You're going to be presented with something like this. So uh, at this point, up top over here you'll see a white rectangle with a checkbox and uh, I should warn you before we go any further uh, this is informational only so if you do decide to do this it's at your own free will I am not responsible for any damage you do to your device so be very cautious when you're doing this now titanium backup is a very useful app it, you could back up your apps so, and your data and pretty much anything on your phone and you could also restore it through the app uh, you want to be careful here because we're going to be uninstalling apps and also there's also services uh, within this uh, function of the app. So over here it has all your apps and services that are on the phone uh, and you basically you can select which ones you want to uninstall. So what I did first is I deselected all of them because by default they're all selected and you do not want to delete every app. Uh, just be very careful in here because there's things like uh, well let's take a look. Uh, your Bluetooth is here so you could potentially lose your uh, Bluetooth drivers uh, you could go down here and you have your clock, you could uninstall your calculator and stuff. Um, pretty much whatever's on the phone, you can now uninstall it. So uh, just go through and see what you want to uninstall. I would stick to things that look obvious, um, like if you don't want, uh, <clears throat> let's see, if you don't want the Google Drive that um, pretty much comes with every Android. Uh, or a Nexus device at least, you could go ahead and uh, uninstall that. Um, what else is here? You could uh, uninstall Google Fit if you don't use Google Fit. Um, just things like that. So uh, I'm going to go through really quick and see if there's anything that really catches my eye. I know there's one or two apps that I want to get rid of, but uh, nothing more than that. Okay, here, so Google Play Books, I don't use that. I don't use the Play Movies. Uh, I don't use the newsstand. Um, be careful, don't uninstall the Google Store, you don't want to do that. <laughs> the Play Services, you don't want to delete those. Google Plus, uh, don't use that. Oh, ooh, ooh, where are we? What happened? Okay, we're, we're back, okay. Uh, G Strings, we want to keep that. Hangouts, keep it. Um, I think that might be it. Everything else looks like I want to keep. Live Wallpaper, yeah. Um, Hmm. Yeah, I think it was only those two that really annoyed me the most. Just because uh, I never opened those apps. News on whether I actually use that one. That's a pretty good app. Uh, just wish the interface was better, really, but that's personal preference. So, see, you could even delete your phone if you don't want to use your phone as a phone. <laughs> uh, Google Photos, we want to keep that. I think everything else is good. Project Fi, why is that here? I don't have Project Fi. Maybe one day, hopefully. Uh, let's see. I think we're good. You know, I'm going to get rid of sheets. I don't need sheets or slides. That's basically the PowerPoint in Excel. Uh, but Google Drive opens those by default, so unless you really want to edit them thoroughly. Anything else? I think this might be it. Why, do I really have that many apps that I downloaded willingly? What's wrong with me? i got to go through the regular apps and delete those. Okay, so I think I'm going to stick with those. So yeah, after you select the apps that you want to delete, Make sure nothing else but the apps that you want to delete are selected. And go ahead and uh, hit the check mark. Yes, hit the check mark. 
and there it goes. So it's uninstalling the slides and I chose six apps as you can see and it's just going to go through and uninstall them one by one. Alright, so uh, as you can see uh, some services and apps have crashed because we uninstalled them but that's fine, they should not be running again and these should eventually stop and not ever appear again. So if we go here, oop, not there. If we go into my app drawer, hey, wait a minute, Play Movies is right there. But what happens when you click it? It's not going to work. So basically we did uninstall them. I don't know why they're still showing up in the app store. That's weird. Let's see if we can get some app info on there. Hmm. We have no icon and it says no internal storage. So basically just the icon is left over. That hasn't happened to me before. So that's the first time I'm seeing it. Same here. So if we go to app info, no icon. Um, let's see if a reboot will solve this issue of uh, the icon remaining in the app drawer. So when we reboot, it should reload the apps and say, hey, I'm missing these two apps and I'm not going to load them. And for whatever reason, my KLWP tweaked out towards the end. Okay, so we're back. Um, let's see if the apps are there. Why does it tell me to type in my code? I should have the security settings fixed. Okay. Hmm. So my KLWP loaded up. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's see here. Ah, they're gone. See, okay, just like I predicted. So um, if you do see your icons still there, go ahead and just reboot your device and they'll disappear. So you could see there's no longer Play Movies, Google Sheets, or uh, Slides or anything like that. So this is what we're left with. I should go through and delete a couple other apps that I don't use. Uh, I did see a few. Hmm, I have a lot of apps here. Okay, so there you guys have it. I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you can't figure out how to get rooted, uh, you could go ahead and send me a message or leave a comment. Either I or someone else uh, will help you out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.